Hi everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. Today we're gonna to take a look at a unique graphics card that actually implements wireless video transmission technology, the Galaxy GeForce GTX 460 WHDI. Inside the box for the Galaxy GTX 460 WHDI, you get your normal graphics card accessories like your DVI to VGA adapter, power adapters, that type of thing. Uh, but this is really all the goods you need to get the wireless video graphics working. You of course have the graphics card. It'll come with five of these antenna that will need to be installed after the graphics card is installed in your system. A nice high quality six foot HDMI cable, a power cord for this receiver box. And this receiver box is really where most of the magic happens. Pretty lightweight, nothing to it black piano finish, lots of fingerprints on it, of course. You've got your power connector, HDMI output, and a USB input, which is actually kind of cool because you get to use that. You can connect a local keyboard or mouse there, which will be by your TV or monitor, uh, and then it will transmit that through the wireless connection to the USB port here that you then take a wire that the card does come with from this USB port to a USB port in your system, so you'll have USB keyboard and mouse support as well. So this is pretty much everything you need right out of the box to get going with your WHDI solution. So while the Galaxy GTX 460 WHDI kind of looks like a regular graphics card on the outside, minus all the weird antennas, when you take off the heatsink, you actually see it's quite a bit different. You've got your GF104 GTX 460 GPU there, your one gig of memory, and then your entire riser card configuration, little metal shielding bits, and this has got your uh, WHDI Amamon branded transmitter chip, all the cables and everything. So you can see why the graphics card needs to be a little bit bigger than standard for all this technology. The installation process for the Galaxy GTX 460 WHDI is really pretty standard and it's just like installing any normal graphics card in your system. Simply plug it in, install the antennas, and you're good to go on the transmission side. For the receiving side, you take the little black receiver box, put it near the TV or monitor that you're going to use, and simply run the power cord to it and an HDMI cable from it to the TV, and that's it, you're good to go. You're ready to turn on the system and, and uh, get all the information you need from it. There is a little bit of a delay um, once you power on the system for the receiver and transmitter to sync up. So don't be surprised if you don't see your post screen uh, the first time, but if you do wanna get into the BIOS, you can still tap delete or F2 or whatever it is a bunch of times. And uh, once that sync happens, usually within about 10 to 15 seconds, you'll be able to get into those same menus. Because this Galaxy card is based on the GTX 460 GPU, the performance levels we're going to see are basically identical to any other one gigabyte model of this graphics card. Uh, gaming performance, as we're showing here, is basically the same here, no, no surprises. The first thing we tested once we got everything connected and up and working was that Blu-ray would play back. This is obviously important as it's kind of one of the primary features of a home theater PC card. Um, because as we showed you, uh, or are showing you now, that the HTCP support is completely intact there. It actually thinks that we're connected through a wired card, which is nice. No problems there. We watched several Blu-ray movies, including Iron Man, uh, without a problem. Uh, video quality playback was fantastic. It looked almost, it actually did look identical to when we had a wire connected, an HDMI cable, going from the same graphics card to the display. So there was no degradation of video quality there at all. After testing the movie playback, we of course wanted to sit down with a handful of games and make sure that the claims of near zero latency actually worked out. And we played through some Left 4 Dead, we played through some F1 2010, some Metro 2033, and as we kind of expected and had hoped, there was no issue with latency or, or delay or anything like that. You know, the, the claims of less than one millisecond latency seem to be true and holding up here. Uh, this makes a, a really great home theater PC, not just for the video playback, but also for gaming in 1080p as well. The other claim we wanted to test was that this could be uh, connected for up to 100 feet. These, the receiver and transmitter, the graphics card, and the TV could be up to 100 feet apart. We didn't quite have 100 feet in our office, but we were able to stretch uh, 40 feet with three or so walls in between the transmitter and receiver. Saw no drop in image quality of Blu-ray playback and no increase in latency or problems with the 3D gaming. Uh, so in terms of range, we didn't quite test the full range of 100 feet, but we were pretty impressed with what we did get out of it. 
So there are a lot of great features on this Galaxy card, including the WHDI wireless technology. It's a good GPU, not the fastest GPU, but it is also fairly expensive. So I would really recommend this graphics card really only targeting the extreme enthusiast about home theater PCs. If you're really kind of uh, an HTPC geek, you want to know, you always want the best technology, or you have kind of a fetish against having noise near your home theater PC, then this will allow you to take that computer, move it into a corner, move it into another room if you want, and still have the same great high quality gaming and video playback experience. If you want more information, make sure you check out the full written review of the Galaxy GTX 460 WHDi. It has a lot of background on the technology that uh, is used in it, more performance, more testing, screenshots, video, that type of thing. Uh, give that a look. It will be at the URL you see below. For now, I'm Ryan Shrout. Thanks for watching.